During this tutorial you will learn how to shape a workpiece with a lathe. You will be assigned several tasks to complete. You cannot proceed to the next task if you do not successfully complete the current one. Let's start. Do not forget, you can ask me to repeat what I said at any time by saying help or repeat. To use the work area effectively, you should use one hand or controller to interact with the tools and work pieces. Then use the other hand or controller to teleport and navigate within the work area. Protective clothing is essential in the workshop. Carefully put on the safety glasses which are located on the workbench to protect your eyes. Well done! Select the medium work piece on the workbench and then put it into the chuck. Well done! Turn the spindle and chuck with your hand for one complete rotation. Do not stop until the chuck keyhole is visible in front of you. Well done! Find the chuck key and place it into the hole located on the chuck. Use the chuck key to move the jaws of the chuck and clamp the workpiece securely. Well done! Select the extruding tool on the workbench. Then place it onto the tool dock on the cross slide. Do not forget to secure the tool using the tool locking lever. Well done! Set the speed of the motor using the spindle speed selector handle. Then turn on the motor by pressing the small red button at the top of the headstock. If the motor does not turn on you need to check that the chuck guard is closed and that the emergency stop button is released. Well done! Next you will extrude the workpiece. To do this please ensure you have an extruding tool locked securely into position on the tool dock. Make sure there is a workpiece secured in the chuck and that the motor is running. Move the cross slide towards you until the tip of the extruding tool is roughly in line with the workpiece. Then move the cross slide and the lathe apron slowly until the tip of the extruding tool touches the workpiece. Then set the extrusion depth by moving the cross slide. Finally, move the apron to the right by slowly turning the hand wheel to carry out the extrusion process. When you are ready for the next stage, stop extruding. To proceed you need to ensure that the extruding tool is not in contact with the workpiece. Adjust the position of the cross slide and the apron until the extruding tool is completely clear of the workpiece. When both the apron and the cross slide are clear of the workpiece you can proceed. Good job! Turn off the motor. Set the position of the spindle speed selector handle to zero. Then press the small red button on the top of the headstock. Well done! Next you are going to drill the workpiece. To do this safely you should first move the cross slide and tool dock away from you until it is clear of the workpiece. Select the thin drill bit located in the top right drawer of the workbench. It is the one on the left. Then place it into the drill bit dock. Do not forget to secure the drill bit using the drill bit locking lever. Well done! Set the speed of the motor using the spindle speed selector handle. Then turn on the motor by pressing the small red button at the top of the headstock. If the motor does not turn on you need to check that the chuck guard is closed and that the emergency stop button is released. Well done! You have to drill a hole in the workpiece. To do this you have to put a drill bit into the drill bit dock and lock it securely into position if this is not already done. Make sure there is a workpiece secured in the chuck and that the motor is running. 
Then carefully move the unlocked tail stock until the drill bit is about 10 cm or 4 inches from the base of the workpiece. Then lock the tail stock into position. Finally start drilling a hole in the workpiece by moving the drill bit dock slowly using the drill bit dock hand wheel. When you are ready for the next stage, stop drilling. To proceed you need to ensure that the drill bit is not in contact with the workpiece. Adjust the position of the tail stock until the drill bit is completely clear of the workpiece. the motor. Set the position of the spindle speed selector handle to zero. Then press the small red button on the top of the headstock. Good job. Next you are going to cut the other end of the workpiece. To do this you have to remove the workpiece from the chuck. Then turn the workpiece around and place it back into the chuck. Unlock the chuck jaws to remove the workpiece. To do this you need to use the chuck key. Place the chuck key into the hole located on the chuck and turn it. Remove the workpiece. Make sure you remove the chuck key from the chuck when finished and return it to the workbench. Well done. Remove the workpiece from the chuck and turn it around. Well done. Find the chuck key and place it into the hole located on the chuck. Use the chuck key to move the jaws of the chuck and clamp the workpiece securely. Well done! Remove the tool currently in the tool dock if there is one there. Then find the cutting tool on the workbench and place it onto the tool dock on the cross slide. Do not forget to secure the tool using the tool locking lever. Well done! Set the speed of the motor using the spindle speed selector handle. Then turn on the motor by pressing the small red button at the top of the headstock. If the motor does not turn on you need to check that the chuck guard is closed and that the emergency stop button is released. Good job! You have to cut the workpiece. To do this you have to put a cutting tool into the tool bit holder and lock it securely into position if there is not one already there. Make sure there is a material secured in the chuck and that the motor is running. Move the cross slide towards you until the tip of the cutting tool is roughly in line with the work piece. Then move the cross slide and the lathe apron slowly until the cutting tool is in line where you want to cut. Finally, move the cross slide towards the workpiece to cut it. To proceed to the next stage you must complete the cutting process. Well done! Turn off the motor. Set the position of the spindle speed selector handle to zero. Then press the small red button on the top of the headstock. Good job! Unlock the chuck jaws to remove the workpiece. To do this you need to use the chuck key. Place the chuck key into the hole located on the chuck and turn it. Remove the workpiece. Make sure you remove the chuck key from the chuck when finished and return it to the workbench. Good job! Now you are going to scan and create a blueprint of the workpiece you just completed. You can then save the blueprint. In future missions you can retrieve the blueprint. Now scan and save your workpiece. To do this you have to put the workpiece into the scanner. Then press scan. Your blueprint will be displayed above you on the board behind the scanner. You need to scan your work to proceed. To save your work, please press save. Blueprint saved. Good job. Congratulations. 
you have completed this tutorial session. Please go back to the lounge area. To do this please click on the blue panel located on the barrier.